Hey everyone, I'm Miss Priya. I'm going to show you how to plant your strawberry kit today. With this strawberry kit, you're going to get an information in the flyer, which will give you information about strawberry, about how it grows, how you plant it, and what do you do with it, right? And also you'll get some seeds with it. And today I'm going to show you what to do. So this is my grow kit. I'm going to take some soil and fill it up. So here's our soil. I'm filling it up. I want to fill it up half. Okay. I'm going to break it up, make sure that this becomes a good circle, that the, that the container looks beautiful. So I'm filling it up. As I'm filling it up, I'm poking it down. Make sure I'm not leaving any gaps there. Just a little bit more. And then I'll put plant food. My kid is half full. I can see it's half full. And then I'm going to put some plant food in here. I'm going to put about a third of the bag. Okay. I'm going to estimate it. This is organic plant food called Microlife. It's made with 40 different natural ingredients and it's safe to touch. So here you go, I put it in, I'm going to mix it in and then I'm going to put our strawberry plant inside. So look, this is our strawberry plant. This is the flower and did you know when the flower is gone, it makes fruit. So the flower comes first and then the fruits here, here they're starting. And look at this, this is getting bigger, nice, it's getting bigger. Once it turns really big, it'll turn brown, then it'll turn pink. Then when it's red, it's ready to eat. So I'm going to put this plant in this container. So the way I take it out is I'm going to spread my fingers and I'm going to put them in like this. Can you see? Then I'm going to turn it over. And here you go, the plant is out. And what do you think this is here? All this white stuff. I'm breaking it up a little bit. These are, these are the roots of the strawberry. It's showing me that it's a healthy plant. The, roots are really young and fresh. I'm breaking it up so that they will grow out instead of growing in a circle. And then I'm going to use two hands and slowly place it in the, in the pot right in the middle. So here you go, it's in the middle. I'm going to make sure that it's, up, it's standing straight up. I'm adjusting it a little bit. Now I'm going to put more soil in it. I'm going to put soil on the sides. As I'm putting the soil in, I'm going to tuck it right in. So usually in Houston, we plant strawberries in November and they grow through the winter. And in springtime, you'll have delicious strawberries. And another trick we do sometimes is we plant it where we're going to plant our tomatoes. So in the springtime, in February, we plant our tomatoes. We plant them near the strawberries. So that in the summer, when the, when the tomatoes are really big, they shade the strawberries so the strawberries can survive the summer. If your strawberries are in shade in the summer, they'll survive and then you may again get strawberries in the fall or next year. But if they don't have shade, they die in the summer. So it's a good idea to plant them where tomatoes are going to be. So as I'm putting the soil in, I'm tucking it in to make sure there are no, that there are no air pockets here. Pushing it in and tucking it in. So this is almost done. It seems that the soil is a little high, but once we water, the soil level will come down a little. So it's okay to be this high. Yeah. And then I have I have some seeds which came with the kit. These are cilantro seeds. 
and we have a recipe for strawberry salsa which calls for cilantro so you can plant cilantro with the strawberries so here you go they're very tiny seeds so i'm going to take my gloves off and the rule the rule for planting a seed is your general rule is to plant it double its thickness so look how thick the seeds are so i'm going to plant them double its thickness so i'm going to make a tiny hole here put a seed in there and cover it up press it in and then do another one about two inches apart make a hole press it in and then do one next to it yeah so this way i'm going to plant cilantro seeds all the way around you could plant any other herb like you could do parsley or anything else like you plant. You could plant sage. Right. So here you go, my seeds are planted. And the thing to be careful about when you're planting a strawberry, you have to make sure that the crown of the plant, this is called the crown of the plant. Can you see? It's, it's up here. It has to be on the level with the soil. If the crown is buried, if this is under the soil, it won't make strawberries quickly. It may take a long time. If the crown is buried, it won't do well. So like tomatoes, you plant them as deep as you like, but strawberries has to be planted just right, where the crown is sitting right on the surface. Here we are, we are done. And all this needs now is water. And if we water every day for like 10 days, the cilantro will grow. Once the cilantro is growing, you don't have to water every day. You can only you can water when it's dry. Thank you so much and good luck with your strawberry plant.